Hello, I am Tanya Nardini and I'm a Brazilian director and choreographer. And since 2007, I am an associate director for Chicago the Musical all over the world. That means that this last 13 years I've been traveling all over the world, working with some amazing, talented artists from very different cultures. We've been doing this virtual meetings Almost all the Velmas, all the Roxies, all the Billies, and more and more and more from everywhere. Seeing here everyone coming into the rooms and sharing their stories, and people from 13 years ago when Tanya started with, with directing Chicago, bringing this here and sharing the stories, <laughs> and we see how much you know, they, they are into it, how passionate they are, how they enjoyed it, how they... Uh, struggled how they you know lived and and that's and for me it's the same thing in seeing that it was so overwhelming it was so touching it was so uh, um, brilliant in many ways to, to see to see how uh, this mission is really important you know thank you thank you Tanya and everyone uh, for making this possible for being together for being you know as one in this whole process. It was a true uh, honor to be here with you guys. That's how this little project started, connecting people outside in, inside out. Enjoy. <laughs> so, um, I just want you to you know, talk about yourselves. Who are you in your lives, and not just you know, who are you related to working with me or whatever. And a little bit of how it was the experience to do to translate for a Brazilian crazy person <laughs> <laughs> during the rehearsal process and all that. And who wants to start? <laughs> Kathy. Well, with Chicago, I, I started in 2008, um, as I said before, and it was the, uh, I think it was the second production of Chicago, Korea. And also that was my first job as a rehearsal interpreter. Um, so I was <laughs> super nervous. Um, and until that moment, I was just, uh, just a theater fan. I was very, very nervous and excited to go into the rehearsal room and looking back i think chicago also has uh, relatively more kind of uh, intimidating atmosphere in a way um because of how the show uh, is so on the first day i still remember how i sat and watching these actors a little too close to me and <laughs> i didn't know where to look and um and also there were a lot of, still a lot of um, terms that were, that I was not used to. So I don't know how I got through that month. Uh, yeah, and somehow with Chicago, I think it was kind of a destiny because every time it happened in Korea, I never, like there was no scheduled conflicts at all, somehow. And for other shows, <laughs> I, there is one show that I always had some issues with schedule or some other things that that I couldn't like participate like once so with Chicago I feel yeah I feel there's some strong connection with me um I think half my work is in rehearsal room of musical musicals and the other half is like working in performing arts festival so it's more inviting over international performances and more um, experimental stuff like theater, dance, 
like lecture performances. Um, and I'm also trying to like write and make books on my own. One second. Mm. <laughs> Her first oh, wow. book. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> so I just put together um, a lot, the pictures that I took while I was traveling um, and some other like bits of text that I uploaded on like Facebook or Instagram mm -hmm. it's called a second chance so it's basically if you open like a page then you have like two similar very similar photographs I was using a film camera so I was not sure if I was if I got the right shot or mm -hmm. and I also not familiar with technical stuff so I don't know if the lighting was okay um, so I would like um, take two or three shots of the same scene all the time. So that's the idea. I think I learn, um, learned about my language more than about English working as a translator. So I put some words, English words or, and then like Korean, different options of Korean words on like the next page. Uh, so that that was my first book, and I also made uh, another one last year. That's so cool. And the other one, what is it about? It's basically just a collection of like little texts that I wrote. Um, it's like a fake encyclopedia of different kinds of text. So like news article, um, novel, poem, or like letter, uh, telegraph. Uh, memo, um, guest book, and I, so I put these types of text, um, including some other more playful stuff like gossip, interview, um, blog, um, eulogy, that kind of stuff, and then I just assigned my uh, text to each title, sort mm -hmm. of. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. <laughs> Who's next? Well, uh, I'll go next. Well, I've, I've been in the theater ever since I was 17 years old, so it's been a while. <laughs> and uh, uh, first, I, I, I've been mostly an actress for the most of my working life. And... Uh, as well as as Kathy, I do more this kind of experimental theater that has not much to do with commercial things. Uh, but I know because they are not commercial, there's no money in it. So when my husband and I decided to be parents, we said, okay, we have to change some things in order to do this and do this well. And not just having another child in the earth struggling. So I have a, a workshop with um, with Robert McQueen, which is a, a, a director, an associate director in in the U.S. He he worked in Mamma Mia in Mexico, and and I went as an actress. So I had the workshop, and then he said. Could you help me translating in the in the next workshop and and assisting me? And I said, well, I would be thrilled to do that because that way I I could study, learn, and do it for free, and that was okay. It was great for me. But in doing so, he told me, you know, you're a very very good actress, and I love your energy on stage. But I don't I don't know if you realize that you are a director as well. Mm. And I was like, why, why did you say so? And he said, because I, I see how you enjoy seeing other people doing right. Mm. And that's nothing uh, an actor is used to do. Actors mm. are used to see me and, and feed me and give me more. And you are like, I, I want to see you grow. I want to see more from you. So ever since that moment, I took it seriously, and ever since I've been, I've been directing more than acting because, as a mother, it's difficult to, to be an actress because of the time. It, it acting consumes more time. 
than directing, which is which is silly actually because <laughs> you're directing, you have to be a lot of tactics. But it is specific. When you're an actor, you have to be here and there and drink and drink. You have to be struggling all the time. Which I I I don't care personally. I I kind of enjoy that kind of life. But as a mother, it's not something I want to to give my son. So that's why I said, okay, I have to do this for real. Well, I actually the music of theater found me. I did found me. It found me. <laughs> so friends of mine that are in musical theater they said, Ah, you should try this. You 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 can sing and you can do and you should look for something in the musical theater. I'm a library worm, I love reading. So when they say, Oh, you should try musical theater, I read everything I could about it. <laughs> and so I have a video I could and hear all the music I could. And and that's how I found actually the 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 existence of Chicago, reading the biography of Bob Fosse, and I said, Okay, I have to see this. I want to see this. And when I did, I, I was I was thrilled. And that's why I insist that I am I feel very blessed of of being part of it. And my other part of the life, when I'm not at the theater, I'm I'm working on comic books and I love that. I really love uh, comic books. My husband and I we have a, a publishing house and, and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> so life has been good to me. And the theater has been very, very generous with me. And I'm, I'm happy. And I'm happy to be with you. And I admire you so much because I, I see how good you are at your work. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy, this, this kind of thing, translating this. And with Tanya, it's, it's been great because, because you, you really know how to give us a space to, to make the translation because that's the difficult part, uh, to, to find the correct window to say, okay, this is Sometimes. as much as I, I can <laughs> hold in my mind. I, I have enjoyed it, really. I, am, I admire you girls. You're amazing. <laughs> yes, they are. You all are. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Carolina. <laughs> oh, no, gracias a ti. Aisha. Hey, uh, my turn. Actually, I wanted to continue what Carolina said, said and um, say that, Tanya, you're also very clear in what you're trying to say. And you know, I feel, I always felt like you always know from the start what you're going to say and what you're going to say after and what you want that person to understand. So that makes it so much easier to translate than someone who goes just, oh, blah, blah, uh, <laughs> which I have done a lot of. <laughs> I've been translating, I've been working in theater as a translator slash manager, sometimes both at the same time, since I was 19. And uh, Chicago was my third musical ever. Third musical I saw, third musical I worked for, just my third musical, full stop. <laughs> uh, but Tanya and Gary and then Greg were the first uh, directors and choreographers I had to translate in rehearsal mode. So that was very stressful <laughs> and scary. I think when during castings, when we had evening shows that I worked for and morning castings for Chicago, which were run, running over time, we had to start earlier and earlier, see more and more people every day. When we reached that point, when I was sitting in the, on the office floor making like a wake up cocktail from vitamin C, glucose and some, something else, <laughs> and we ran out of one or two ingredients so I was basically putting vitamin C into water for every single person involved in the commission who was listening to people and my producer came in and was like Tasha what are you doing here it's 8 30 in the morning what are you doing on the floor with pills all around you I was like I'm making energy cocktail this is when I was like 
I can do it. Whatever happens next, I can do it. <laughs> and that was the start. Yeah, that was uh, then Tanya came back in August and we did two months of rehearsals. And that was so much fun. Like, I love that work. I couldn't believe I was being allowed to do it at first. And then that I was good enough and that I was actually doing it. And from that started a chain of so many shows, all kinds of musicals, every single foreign translation of stage entertainment that's come. Since then, I was involved in with the director or choreographer, depending on, on what was happening with my schedule, what was happening with them. I worked with uh, independent theater, dance theater, dance schools, every single so much, so much work came <laughs> my way after Chicago. <laughs> and I actually stayed with Stage Entertainment as a manager, the company manager for three years after that. They invited me for Phantom and I stayed there for three years. And then I went to America to join the circus. I was invited as a stage manager, but uh, since there was no one except for the director and his assistant, I quickly became the production manager and that's when <laughs> it went crazy. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, no. I should have not accepted the promotion. I should have stayed the stage manager. Like, hi guys. <laughs> I know, life is easier. <laughs> you probably learned a lot, right? Yeah, yeah I learned a lot. I, and, well, which is... like, I got to live in America for eight months, so that was yeah. also fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The freak is the most insane job of my life, and I'm still recovering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not writing any books. <laughs> I am not drawing any comic <laughs> books. I don't have a publishing house. All I do now is uh, I, we, me and my boyfriend moved to Georgia, the country, and now we're renting like a house here and I'm translating for him because the landlord speaks Russian but doesn't speak English. So I translate for my boyfriend, my landlord and her kids. She has like <laughs> a million kids. <laughs> So, uh, whatever else I try to do in life, whatever kind of management jobs I go for, translation always comes back to me. Like, I think this is my my thing. I should learn as many languages as I can and just keep translating as, <laughs> as long as I can speak. <laughs> wow. Yes. Wow, Taisa. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you very, very much very, for everything from when we work together in the shows <laughs> to today for this meeting really thank you you know you are the most important and the first that i had to make sure i have the three of you when i had the idea then we talked uh, the four of us we talked on the zoom about it and i said first i have to make sure i have them and I really wanted to have you not only because to facilitate the conversation, but because I wanted to have your input of um, the rehearsal process and now of this um, experience. And I have a great, great, great admiration for all of you. Not a matter of making my life easy, but it's a matter to make my life more important and more rich and more interesting. This three ladies here, like how, how hard I think it is what you're doing. And sometimes when I see an actor like speaking for five minutes and I'm like, how she's going to do that? Is she <laughs> writing something out? <laughs> yeah. And then at the end, it just happens. That's really, that's a beautiful mission as well, to be able to help people to communicate is something important. That's a mission that nowadays it's, it's like a doctor's mission to help people to understand that we are all the same. That's really, that's really cool. Girls, you rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you rock, you rock. And, and, and we also see uh, uh, how it's, it's live in you as well. This kind of experience and this kind of, you know, way, this way of contributing to the whole thing, you know? I mean, I have no idea what they're saying in Russian and, and in Korean, but you know, <laughs> in Spanish, I get a little bit and, and, <laughs> but it's just so amazing when you talk, you, you transmit, you know, I don't know if you realize this, but you have this passion and you have this, this, uh, um, involvement that, that comes with it. 
as Thiago said, that uh, this this job, this uh, mission to translate, uh, as you girls are doing, it's so beautiful to see. Exactly because this is not easy, girls. My, you rock. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> It was so nice to see you doing that and so nice to know that uh, there is this mission with some uh, sweet people like you that uh, make possible these things to happen. Make possible a director from Brazil to go to your country and direct and make all this thing possible and make all this thing happen. So nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love you. Thank you Thank very, you. very much. Yes. Thank you, Tanya. We'll Thank talk you. soon. Thank you. Thank you. See you Thank soon. You. Have a beautiful day. Bye. 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 Obrigada. Bye. 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 B